Welcome to the tutorial Wind Control 3 for Water Pump 2. This tutorial will focus on the technical aspects, how to operate Water Pump 2 instruments with Wind Control 3. Starting from installation, going through almost all software features. The video is divided into these chapters. You can jump to a chapter using the video timeline. I start with software installation. We provide free software and software updates for our instruments. Please visit our homepage waltz.com. In products you will find our instruments. Choose your instrument, today it is Water Pump 2. The menu bar of the Water Pump 2 product page gives access to the download area. Here you can download the software setup file. After download, the installation wizard will guide you through the installation process. Please choose a destination folder. For Water Pump 2 applications, you will need the standard installation type. The USB driver is pre-selected as it is a required component for proper communication with your instrument. When the installation is done, you can start using WinControl 3. During software start, the program will search for your instrument. If no device is connected, you can open WinControl in an offline mode by pressing No. When you click Yes, the software will repeat the search for the instrument to open the measure mode. Before I start explaining the various functions, I will introduce the overall structure of WinControl 3. The user interface is divided into four main parts. The first is the menu bar for data management and program display. In the second part are the various tabs and their corresponding sidebars, like chart, light curve, LG analysis, settings or memory. The third part is the result panel showing data values of the last FOFM and saturation pulse measurement. Upon start it is empty as here right now. And last, but very important, the status panel in the bottom, where you can get quick access to many functions. One of the most important buttons to achieve good measurements is the button for the automatic gain adjustment. Water Pump 2 instruments have a very wide adjustable sensitivity range. You can measure visibly colored lab cultures and also samples with very low algae content, like seawater, with chlorophyll A concentrations of less than 0.1 microgram per liter. To bring the instrument into the optimal photomultiplier detection range, please use the automatic gain button. In the automatic gain procedure, the instrument will adjust the sensitivity of the photomultiplier that following saturation pulse experiments will be within the detection range. I will now give you some information about the other status panel functions. The status panel of Water Pump 2 instruments is divided into four fields. Status, Basic Program, Sudpulse Chart and Online. As we already used one of the buttons, I will start with the Sudpulse Chart field. Next to the automatic gain button are two buttons, FOFM and SAT. Both execute a saturating light flash. FOFM is used when your sample is in a dark acclimated condition to determine the maximum FVFM. The SAT pulse is used in all other conditions. When the measurement is done, the SAT pulse chart will appear. If you want to enlarge the display, switch to the chart tab of this field. The SAT pulse button is still available here to execute the next SAT pulse measurement. In the status field, you can see which instrument component is currently in operation. When the checkbox is activated, the labeled item is executed. You can use this field also for manual control. For example, activating the actinic light checkbox will switch on the actinic illumination. The next field is the basic and program field. In basic you can do minor adjustments without switching to the settings tab. You can adjust the light intensity step of the actinic illumination and the clock time. You can either use the arrows or double click into the field to type your changes. This field here gives you information about the applied PAR in the chosen actinic light illumination intensity. 
Those two fields are less important. This field gives you information about the numbers of stored data sets. And with this field you can switch between instruments when you have more than one instrument connected to WinControl 3. In the program tab are various experimental routines listed. Actinic yield is a period of actinic illumination terminated with a saturation pulse. The induction curve protocol without or with recovery. The light curve also without or with recovery and an option to execute a pre-selected batch file. Activating the checkbox will start the respective program. The last field of the status panel is the online field. Here you can see the current FT value and the PAR value in the cuvette. This checkbox needs to be empty. It is for other instruments when you use an external light sensor. The next panel I will talk about is the result panel. The result panel shows numerical values of the FOFM and the last saturation pulse measurement, as well as calculated parameters. In darker blue are the fluorescence data of the FOFM measurement of the dark acclimated sample. FO, FM and the maximum photochemical quantum yield of PS2. In green are the numerical values of the last saturating flash experiment. If this was an FOFM measurement, these values are of course identical to the upper ones. With the next SATPULSE measurement, in these fields, new numerical values will appear. Now also the quenching parameters will be listed, indicated in light blue. For more information about the parameters, please read the corresponding chapter of the manual. Now I come to the center of Wind Control 3, the various tabs and their sidebars. The tabs, chart, induction curve, light curve, SAT chart, report, memory, batch and settings are about the same as with other Wind Control 3 operated instruments. The LG analysis is a water pump 2 specific tab. I start with the chart tab. This is the tab for all purpose experiments. In the center is the graphical area where you can see your measurements. The displayed parameters can be chosen here in the values tab of the sidebar. If you press auto scale, all parameters will be scaled to fit the display. If you want to scale just one curve, you can choose the Y axis label here and use the arrow buttons to vary the respective scaling. For x-axis labeling, you can choose within the chart tab relative time or absolute time. Other buttons to adjust the appearance of the graph are this switch for grid on and off, the button to display the symbols, and this button to connect the measurement points. Important to know is that the values tab of the sidebar determines the shown parameters. This is the function of the values in the sidebar in each of the application tabs, switching parameters on and off. In the sidebar are two more tabs, record and channels. Channels is only for multi-channel instruments and of no interest when you operate a water pump too. In record you can organize your data structure. Here is a button to open a new record. Or you can scroll through older records in the same file. If you are working with a computer having a small display, you can hide the complete sidebar by unchecking this view sidebar checkbox. As I mentioned before, the chart tab is the tab for all kinds of experiments. In the chart, all measured data can be displayed graphically. There is also another function. In the chart, you can start online chart recordings. If you press this button or activate this checkbox, the software will record all online parameters continuously and will store them as a separate chart file. You can decide to record 5 datasets per second, 1 dataset per second, 
or one dataset every 10 seconds. The recording can be stopped by pressing Stop Online or unchecking the checkbox here. There is another nice feature to explain on the chart tab. It is this float button. When you press float, a duplicate of the chart tab is generated. Now you can switch the application tab, still keeping an eye on the experiment. This can be very helpful, for example, when you adjust settings. Closing the float window just ends the duplication of the chart. It will not end any measurement. I will now explain two tabs which have many functions in common with the chart tab, the induction curve and the light curve tab. The induction curve tab and the light curve tab are modified chart tabs for their respective protocols. There are only a few differences like the x-axis scaling and the bottom in the lower right corner. It starts the induction curve protocol or in the light curve tab the light curve protocol. The chart recording function is still available but only by using the record online checkbox here. If you activate this checkbox again all online values will be recorded and stored in a separate chart file. In the sidebar record will not show all experiments but only induction curves in the induction curve tab and light curves in the light curve tab. A new record button does not exist as performing a light curve or induction curve will automatically create a new record. The settings of the light curve and induction curve protocol can be adjusted on the settings tab. On the settings tab you will find an induction curve and light curve field showing the protocol parameters. For both protocols you have the choice to measure an FOFM at the beginning or not. So if you already dark adapted your sample and just measured the FOFM, please uncheck these checkboxes. The last determined FOFM is then used for calculation of quenching parameters. The other induction curve protocol parameters are delay, the time interval between protocol start and onset of the actinic light, width, the time interval between the ZUT pulses during actinic illumination, and length, the number of ZUT pulses during illumination, therefore the length of the induction curve. You can change these values either by using the arrow buttons or by entering a value. The actinic intensity for the illumination during the induction curve is given here in the actinic light setting or below in the status panel. The light curve protocol parameters are width, the interval of each illumination step, intensity, the start intensity according to the actinic light list, and length, the number of actinic light steps with increasing light intensity. Here in this protocol, for example, the instrument will perform an FOFM measurement first, then it will perform 10 light steps, each for one minute. It will increase the light intensity starting from light intensity 2 to actinic intensity 11. I will now start this protocol. I inserted a new dark adapted sample. First I do the automatic adjustment of the detection range pressing the auto gain button. Now I can start the light curve on the light curve tab. I could alternatively use the checkbox in the status panel. I time lapsed the sequence. The light curve fit according to Platt et al. or Jaspi and Platt can be shown by activation of the REC1 or REC2 checkboxes in the sidebar. If you switch to the report tab, you will see that for all light curves, the fit parameters will be listed above the stored data of the measurements. The next tab I will talk about is the SAT chart tab. In the SAT chart, the fluorescence kinetics of the saturation pulses are shown, one by one for each performed saturation pulse. Some numerical values are listed below the kinetic. As before, if you want to see other parameters, 
Go to the sidebar and choose the items of interest. The saturation pulses are labeled with date, time and saturation pulse number. A good feature to find the corresponding kinetic is to highlight some measurements in the chart tab. The corresponding saturation pulses will be marked in the subchart and report tab. This also works vice versa. The subchart helps to set the correct saturation pulse settings. More information about this is given in my colleague's tutorial about fluorescence measurements. But there is a small difference to other applications. As always, saturation pulses which exceed the detection range will be marked red. In water pump 2 applications, that probably means that the detection range wasn't adapted to the sample. Please remember to use the automatic gain procedure when you inserted a new sample. Settings of the saturation pulse can be changed in the subpulse field on the settings tab. You can choose 12 intensities, the corresponding applied PAR is listed in the next line, and width. This is the duration of the light flash. A new function for water pump instruments, and therefore a new Water Pump 2 specific application tab, is the algae analysis tab. Water Pump 2 instruments can determine the algae composition within your sample. The Water Pump 2 differentiates the contribution of three algae groups cyanobacteria, green algae and brown algae with diatoms to the overall fluorescence signal. The abundance of these algae groups within the sample is given as concentration of micrograms chlorophyll A per liter. The algae analysis takes less than a minute. I just inserted a water sample of our seawater aquarium. Now I start the procedure by pressing the start measurement button. The system is first adapting the sensitivity of detection followed by the measurement of the fluorescence values of four different measuring light wavelengths 450, 520, 630 and 660 nanometers. The wavelengths depend on fluorescence excitation characteristics of the applied references are listed below. Their fluorescence spectra are here normalized to the wavelength showing the highest fluorescence value. These references are used to fit the measured fluorescence as well as possible, solving the task which algae group needs to be in which proportion in the sample to obtain the measured wavelength dependent fluorescence values. This is illustrated here. On the left, the contribution of each algae group to the overall signal, and here resolved into the four applied wavelengths. The sample composition is given in microgram chlorophyll A per liter for the three algae groups and microgram chlorophyll A per liter concentration for the total sample. The quality of the fit is given as a least square error here. The better the references fit to your sample, the smaller is the error. There is a linear correlation of fluorescence and content of chlorophyll A within the sample. The water pump 2 instruments are calibrated with the fluorescence chlorophyll A ratio of the Sigma Alrich chlorophyll A analytical standard diluted in acetone. If you want to apply different fluorescence chlorophyll A ratios, for example following a specific chlorophyll A extraction and analysis method, you can change this ratio in the algae analysis specific settings. I will show it to you, but first I want to explain one more function on this step. Below the Start Measurement button is a checkbox, Include Subpulse. This means when the checkbox is activated, the system will perform automatically a saturation pulse measurement after the algae composition analysis. All results will be listed in the report. An algae analysis is labeled with AA. In the sidebar are as always the different parameters. A little further down you will find the algae analysis section F450, F520, 630 and 660 are the determined fluorescence values of the respective wavelength. And here are the chlorophyll A concentration of the algae groups of cyanobacteria, green algae and brown algae and the total sample. This is the photomultiplier gain and the fit error. Now I come back to the algae analysis settings. This is a special settings tab which is only available when a water pump 2 instrument is connected. You can open it with this button labeled 
Algae Analysis Settings. Here are the original datasets of the applied references listed, fluorescence values, applied gain and the concentration according to the Sigma Alrich Chlorophyll A standard. The spectra of the references are shown here, in green, blue and brown color according to their group name. There is also a black graph. This is the fluorescence of the last algae analysis determination. Here on the algae analysis settings tab, you can generate your own specific references. Please insert a sample of the algae strain of interest and measure the F spectrum by pressing start measurement. Now you can assign this spectrum to a reference, either to cyano, green or the brown algae group. Please label the algae strain and save the new reference in a folder of your choice. Now this new reference is used for the algae analysis fit. It is uploaded in the water pump 2 instrument. First, as fluorescence chlorophyll A ratio, the ratio of the Sigma Alrich standard is applied. When you have determined the chlorophyll A content of your reference sample, by your preferred chlorophyll A quantification protocol, you can change this value according to your results. Changes can be saved. Please use the load button to upload previously recorded references to the water pump 2 instrument. With these checkboxes here, you can decide if you want to apply all references in the FIT procedure. You have the option to switch off a specific reference. For example, when you just want to apply the cyanobacteria and green algae, you can switch off the brown reference. Inactivated checkboxes are inactivated references which are not used for the fit. Activated checkboxes are active references which are applied in the fit. All changes to the references here alter the references within the water pump 2 instruments also for later standalone operations. But the references can be reset any time to the standard references by pressing reset references here or in standalone operation, reset references in the reset submenu. If you want to recalculate your data applying new references, please choose your reference and then press the recalculate button. Now all algae analysis measurements within the report will be recalculated according to the new references here. Recalculation of the algae composition can only be done with a water pump 2 instrument connected. Before I come to the Report and Memory tab and therefore to Data Management and Export functions, I will talk about some more settings which are relevant for your experiments. As the name suggests, the Settings tab allows you to define the settings for your instrument. First, settings can be set to default values by pressing Reset. If you close the program, Settings will be stored and reopened in the same configuration when you work with WinControl 3 again. The Settings tab is divided into many fields. These each have a heading to clearly assign the contained settings. I will not talk about the physiological aspects here in this tutorial, but like to refer again to my colleague's tutorial about fluorescence measurements. I will just go more or less from top to bottom, left to right through the functions of the settings. Beginning with the measuring light field, here you can set intensity and frequency. How these two parameters influence each other is topic of my colleague's wind control tutorial. The next are the system parameters. In water pump 2 instruments, you can switch between a blue and a red LED array. Here is the menu where you can define your instrument light configuration. Damping. This is a software-based filter to suppress high-frequency noise, therefore improving the signal quality. The default value is 2. If you set it to higher values, the response time of your instrument increases. This is the same Auto Gain button as within the status panel for the automatic adjustment of the photomultiplier detection range. The detection level is listed here. ETR factor. This factor describes the fraction of incident photons absorbed by the sample. Although this value is the typical default value for leaves, it is for comparability also frequently applied on algae suspensions. The F offset is an automatic procedure to determine background fluorescence, which can, for example, be originated from humic acids or yellow substances. 
These are often quite high background signals. But also low background signals can be taken into account, like the fluorescence noise from standard glass cuvettes at higher gains. The procedure is easy. Please insert your cuvette filled with media. Of course, without algae in it, like sterile filtrated lake water. And press adjust. The instrument will now detect all background fluorescence for all gain settings and measuring light configurations. The clock is a tool for repeating measurements. The clock mode can be chosen here. You can set it to all kinds of standard protocols. Zut pulse measurements, actinic plus yield measurements, light curve with or without recovery, or induction curves with or without recovery. The clock time can be set here. It triggers the listed protocol. If the time interval is shorter than the protocol, like one minute would be executing a light curve protocol, the clock trigger is ignored until the protocol has been finished. The next field is the Zut pulse field, but it was already mentioned during the chart tab description. So I come now to the actinic light field. You can choose the actinic light intensity according to the light list, which you can see here. Actinic light intensity 6, for example, is 190 micromoles per square meter in second. This power value is also written here. With the actinic light factor, you can alter the range of the complete internal light list. Each value is multiplied with the applied actinic factor. If you decrease the factor, your actinic light will be less intense and vice versa. The internal actinic light list can be calibrated using the calibration procedure. For calibration, please use the provided USSQS light sensor. As you can see it here, the spacer defines the optical geometry. Please insert the light sensor into a clean cuvette filled with distilled water. The calibration values of your PAR sensor are preset in your water pump 2 instrument. But you can check. The photomultiplier values are listed in the external PAR sensor settings menu of your instrument and resemble the values of your light sensor's calibration certificate. You start the procedure with this calibration button here. As I mentioned before, when I explain the induction curve, this chosen actinic intensity here is used for actinic illumination during the induction curve protocol. It is also used for the actinic and yield protocol. The actinic and yield protocol is an illumination period which is terminated with the saturation pulse. In width, you can decide the length of the illumination period. And with a checkbox here, you can choose to perform an initial FOFM before onset of the actinic illumination or not. I already talked about induction curve and light curve, so I come now to the far red light settings here. You can choose intensity and duration of the far red light which can either be activated here in the status panel or it's automatically applied after each saturation pulse measurement in the FO prime mode. More information about this topic is given again in my colleague's tutorial. If you have the optional water to S stirrer plugged to your instrument, you can control stirring and stirring speed here. The last field is set. Set are the instrumental settings as the switches for the device status LED and the water pump 2 beeper which confirms the execution of a measurement. All settings can be stored for later use as a batch file in the file menu using the save settings command. The next tab is the report tab. During this tutorial I referred a couple of times to the report tab. In the report tab, all saturation and algae analysis measurements are listed. As always, in the sidebar you can choose the displayed parameters. Next to the view sidebar is an option button. The option commands are also available when you do a right click on your mouse. This button is also on other tabs, but in the report it shows its full scope of functionality. That's why I explain it now. Some functions of the option menu are also available in other parts of the program. Follow selection is normally activated. This is the function I showed in the ZAT chart tab explanations. When you mark measurements in the chart, the corresponding ZAT chart kinetics and report data will be marked as well. In case you have a lot of data, the program will jump to the marked saturation pulses, or as the program says, 
will follow the selection in the subchart and report tab. Show mark is the option to switch on the mark parameter, a labeling option for instruments used in standalone configuration. When you activate insert settings, an abbreviation list of all current settings of the controlled instrument will be written in the last report line. This can be helpful to note the applied settings. With Export All, you can export the data as listed here in the report in a CSV file for other spreadsheet applications. This is the same function as Export Report in the File menu. You can choose the export parameters, for example, if you want to include the light curve fit results or the program start and end marks, or additional time formats. In Target, you can decide if you want to create an export file or if you want to copy the exported data to the clipboard that you can insert it manually. In the report, you can also export just some selected data when you use this export function here. Delete all measured data is self-explaining and resembles this button here. You will need to confirm your action when data has not been saved yet. You can also delete selected lines using this button here. Next in option are the printing commands. Here you can set up the printer, get a printing preview or can print selected lines or the complete report. The last resembles this button here. And last, if you did an experiment where you manually performed a sequence with increasing light, you can mark the lines and use this function to calculate the light curve fit parameters. In standalone operation and when the instrument is operated by wind control, all measured data are stored within the instrument. You can manage this data on the Memory tab. All data are labeled by date and time. One way to set the device time is here. You can synchronize the water PAM2 with the PC time. This does not change date and time of the stored data, but new data will have the computer timestamp. On the right are the file numbers listed which are stored in the instrument. A detailed view is here. It gives number of file, date and time of the last stored data and how many data entries are stored in this file. To structure your data, you can create a new file here. For downloading, please mark the file you want to download and use this button. If your report already contains data, you will have the option to clear the existing data or to merge the data. The data will now be downloaded and listed in the report tab. After download, you can clear the device memory using the Clear Memory button. Deleting the device internal memory cannot be undone, so you will need to confirm this action. The last tab I will talk about is the Batch File tab. Batch files are program sequences. You can use them for simple things like uploading your personal settings, to repeat experiments with the same timing or to create complex program routines. Please use this button to open existing batch files. Batch files are written in a kind of programming language, but even without programming experience, you can start to write batch files yourself. One option is to use the edit add command function. Here is the list of frequently used functions. You can simply select them and insert them to your batch program. If modifications need to be made, they are marked grey. Here the text gives you information about the applied program operation. Another way to create a batch file is to use the record macro function. This function is very useful when you want to repeat experiments having the same timing. Just record your experiment and redo it using the batch file. When the recording mode is active, the software will record program operations and list them in your batch file. You can modify these commands as you like, for example entering other timings. Changes of settings need to be inserted manually. The batch commands are visible in the help text when you move the mouse over the corresponding setting. Please type dollar followed by the abbreviation and the setting value you want to have. 
the record macro mode will be stopped by inactivation of the command. Batch file operation is started by pressing run. The currently executed program step is highlighted blue. This was the tutorial about the technical features for WaterPump 2 operations with WinControl 3. Thanks for your attention. Now I wish you successful experiments with your water pump.